We have here a list of users, so we've got an array, and at each index, we've got a specific object user that has an ID, full name, email, and gender. Our goal is to find a user that matches the specific criteria. As an example, we want to search for a user that has a full name of Rex Michael. There is an ESX method designed to achieve that. However, let's do it manually to understand the concept. You will create a getUser function that has two parameters. The first one is users, or the array that contains the list of users. And the second parameter is the search criteria full name. And you use the for of loop to get into each element of the user's array. Then you check the full name of each user if it is following the full name that you will specify when you call the function. So if the condition is true, or if the given full name exists, return this specific user object, otherwise undefined is returned. Now let's assign the get user function to a variable selected user. And the first parameter of the function is the list of users, which it is this array. And the second parameter, the full name you are searching for. Okay, let's start with the full name that doesn't exist, John Doe, and console log the selected user. You have undefined because the search criteria you have given doesn't exist. So no user on the list have a full name of John Doe. Let's do another test, but now with an existent full name, Rex Michael. Now, this condition is returning true, which means that while the for of loop was iterating over each user of the list, it finds a user with the full name of Rex Michael, which returns the user object. Okay, I know that I'm giving you too many details, but I want you to understand how finding element through array works. Let's now simplify your life by using a function that does all of that without writing this bunch of code. For that, you will use the ESX find method, which executes the callback once for each index of the user's array until it finds the user Rex Michael. The simple definition of the find method it is a method that searches for an element that matches a specific condition and returns the first element in the array that satisfies the provided condition. Otherwise, the find is returned. Let's test that by writing some code. But before that, let's see what the find method returns as values. So you start with the user's array and you use the method find. Then this function is executed in a callback that takes three arguments. The first one is the element, which is the equivalent of the current element being processed in the array. You can put any name you want. Okay, let's put user. The second parameter is the index of the current user element. And the last argument is the user's array itself. Console log the user, which will display each user. Console log the index, which will display each index respectively. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, because we have five elements. And console log users, which will display the whole array. So inside this callback, you are doing iteration on each element of the user's array, like the previous example. In general, and for our case, you don't need this last two parameters, index and users. No, and to check for a user with the full name Rex Michael, you have two solutions. The first one is using a condition to check if the user full name is equal to Rex Michael, if the condition is true return the specific user object. Otherwise, it will return indefined. Let's assign the returned value to a selected user variable and console log the result. The second solution will be simpler. Remove all of that and keep the user argument and the condition. So you are giving the same result, but in less code. Cool. If you remember at the first example, when you create a function get user to get specific user by using the for of loop, let's now achieve the same result using the find method. So you create a get user function that has two arguments, the user's list and the given full name you are searching for. And instead of a for loop, you copy this line and you replace the Rex Michael with the full name argument. Assign the returned value of the get user to a selected user variable. And for the first argument will be the user's array. And for the second argument, you define a user you are searching for. Let's do another one, Archimaldi. And you console log the result. 
same result with less code and you can dynamically specify any full name you are searching for within the user's list. Let's now move to another interesting method findIndex. So if the find method returns a value of an array element, the findIndex instead returns the index of this element. Super simple to use. Let's use the same variable name selected user and assign to it the returned value of the findIndex method for a specific user generally on the user's list. If the user exists, you will get the index of this specific user. Console log the result to see that you get 3, which equivalent to its position on the array. So 0, 1, 2, 3. And if you change this generalities to a non-existing user John Doe, you will get a negative 1, which is equivalent to that the user in question doesn't exist.